So today's campground review is going to be at the Cherokee, North Carolina, Great Smoky Mountains National Park, KOA Campground. This is a new series I'm adding to my YouTube channel. As most of y'all know, I travel around in an RV and I travel all over the United States and I'm all the time camping at different campgrounds. So today's campground review is going to be at the Cherokee, North Carolina, Great Smoky Mountains National Park, KOA Campground. And basically the reason I'm doing these reviews is because, hey, if you're ever in the area, check it out. Upon entering the campground, to your left, you're going to see an awesome pond and stream, and that is stocked full of trout. So, anyone who, uh, any fisherman, this is a fisherman's paradise because you have miles and miles of rivers and streams surrounding this campground. Now, I must say, I've been in a lot of camp stores, and that one is really nice, stocked full of food and I mean camping gear, RV accessories, and everything. Now, right beyond the KOA camp store, we have the outdoor pool. Check it out. Now, I must say, that outdoor pool was really nice, especially the slide. Not only is there an outdoor pool, there's an indoor pool. You can swim in the winter time as well. All right, right beyond the pool area, we have all types of amenities activities for kids and everything, check it out. I must say, that's an awesome gym mine behind us. Kids will have a lot of fun there. And definitely at that big trampoline as well. Alright, as you can see, this campground has it all. I've made it back to the mobile command center and hey, we're staying at a, what, you, what they call a super site. This is where it's got a concrete patio with a concrete fire pit and everything. Check it out. Now, before I give this campground my personal rating, there's a few things I have to factor in. Number one, the ease of getting here. Now, getting to this campground, you have to take Highway 441 through the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. That's no problem. However, if you have an RV or a travel trailer bigger than 24, 26 feet, do not take the road from Townsend to Gatlinburg the little, I believe it's called the Little River Road. If your camper is 24 feet or smaller, that road will be okay to take. There's a lot of blind curves on that road and you're gonna have to use the oncoming lane to make some of the, to make some of those turns because it is narrow. However, like I said, if you're taking Highway 441 the whole way, then you're fine. Next factor is the convenience to attractions and eating places, just in case you don't just want to stay at the campground the whole time. Two miles away, you've got the town of Cherokee, a lot of cool stuff to do there, and there's an awesome uh, place called Wise Guys Grill. Awesome pizza, awesome burgers, awesome wings. Definitely check it out if you're in the area. And by the way, two miles away from the campground. Next, the KOA staff. Hey, if the, if the staff at the KOA is rude, if the staff at the campground is rude, it can ruin your whole experience. However, the staff at this campground has been super nice and uh, hey, no problems at all. And I will say, they keep this place very well maintained as well. So, in factoring in all of that and your tour of the campground, and like I said, I, I stay at a lot of campgrounds and my personal rating on this, I'm going to say an 8.5. Now, my wife and son, they stay with me a lot too. Let's just get their opinion real quick. All right, real quick. 
rating on the campground from 1 to 10? Difficulty getting here would probably be the only downside. So I would say this campsite would be 8.75. Oh. What do you give it, EJ? Four, nine and a half. What do you give it, EJ? Nine and a half. What do you give it, Chago? Yeah? All right, there you have it. Happy campers, it's all good. And like my wife was saying, on the ease of getting here, 441 is okay. She was referring to the uh, the Little River Road from Townsend to Gatlinburg. Big RV, big travel trailer, don't take that road. This RV is a 24 foot Sunseeker and that's about all I would be comfortable with on that road. So overall, we would highly recommend this campground and our overall experience has been great here. And hey, see you next time.